Let's evaluate this integral, the integral from 1 to 9, square root of x dx. And as usual, whenever you are dealing with square root in calculus, most likely we should write it as to the 1 half power, because that way we can use the power rule, or maybe the reverse power rule. In this case, we have to do the reverse power rule because we are doing integration. But let's just write this as the integral from 1 to 9, x, and the square root becomes 1 half power dx. And now, for the reverse power rule, we are going to add 1 to the exponent first. And let's work this out. 1 half plus 1, which is 1 half plus 2 half, which will get you 3 half. And that's the new exponent. And we are going to divide by the new exponent. Divide by 3 half, it's the same as multiply by 2 thirds. So I'm just going to put this right here. Multiply by 2 thirds. This part is to do the antiderivative. The next part is going to be, let me write this down, 2 thirds x to the 3 half power. This will be the antiderivative for square root of x. And now I still have to plug in the numbers and subtract. So let me do the bracket 1 to 9 and plugging 9 to x, plugging 1 into x, subtract each other. For the first part, we have 3 half, I mean 2 half, I mean 2 thirds times. 9 raised to a 3 half power, and then minus plugging 1 into x, we have 2 thirds, 1 to the 3 half. Okay? Let's see how to do this. Let's see how to do this part. 9 raised to a 3 half power. Let me just do it right here for you guys. 9 raised to a 3 half power. First of all, the half power turns back to a square root. So you can look at this as square root of 9, you do that first, and then the result raise that to the third power. So half power will be the square root, and square root of 9, we know this is 3, but then we still have the, uh, the third power on the outside, so 3 to the third power, it's not 9, it's 27. Okay? So anyways, this power here is 27, and let me just write this down, this is 2 thirds times 27, and this is just minus 2 thirds times 1 to any non any power is just uh, 1, so this is 1. <laughs> Anyways, just a lot of fractions. 2 thirds times 27, of course you can cancel, this is 1, this is 9, and this is like 2 times 9, which is 18, minus 2 thirds. And just do more fractions. This is like 18 over 1, so I need a common denominator, I need to multiply by 3, multiply by 3. On the top, 18 times 3 is what? 54. 54 minus 2, which will be 52, over the same denominator, which is 3. And that's it. 52 over 3. 